Mwa Mungu ameweka moyoni mwangu. Ni kwa sababu hata tukiwa watu wa, wa Pentecostal, watu wa kiroho, tunaongea na ndimi, eh, tunakuja tuna demonstrate power and the Holy Spirit. There is also a counterfeit of the same. Kuna muigo wa hiyo haswa pia. Na tunaweza kuwa tulipookoka tulimpenda Mungu. Lakini vile muda unazidi kuendelea tunaendelea kuwa cold. Na tusipo angalia upya kana kwamba upendo wa Mungu bado uko meoni mwetu. Tutarejelea udini. We are Pentecostals but we can drift into religiosity. Mambo ya udini. Tunakutana hapa ni ndugu ni dada na huyo dada hawezi kukusaidia hata ukua katika jida as mean as a snake. Amen. Mtu anaweza kukufanyia jambo ukashangaa. Ikifika program za kanisa hautilii maana Ikifika maombi hauombi. Ikifika kufata neno umeshindwa. Hiyo ina maana gani? Upendo wako kwa Mungu umepungua. Amen. Not everybody is waiting for the return of Christ. It is those who are watching. Wale ambao wanatazamia na wanamgoja hao ndio watakao toaliwa. Na aina ya watu kama hao ama wafuasi huwa wanaangalia upendo wao kwa Mungu kama bado upo. They keep on counterchecking if the love of God is still in their hearts. Don't assume that you love God. Love is practical. Amen. Excuse me kwa makini. There's there's some God wants to deliver you from a certain subtle very smart deception of the enemy. Na iko katika Pentecostal churches. Bwana asifiwe. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kwa nini? Kwa sababu kanisani unakuta sasa tunasema tunaenda mbinguni, tumejazwa roho, tunaongea na ruga, lakini ukipiga mtu darubini ya kiroho, unaona huyu mtu hapendi Mungu tena. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa Mungu kumpenda kuna matendo. Yesu alitupenda. Lakini haikutosha kutupenda alijitoa. There was a proof that he loved us. God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the practical proof of God's love for us. Na ni lazima nasi tuthibitishe tu, tu kwa upendo kwamba, kwamba tunampenda Mungu through action. Kuna watu wanapenda sana kufuata program za kanisa. Praise and worship wako. Loving God is more than keeping church programs. You can be in church program but you are into fornication. You are into stealing. You are a chronic liar. But in the church programs, you look nice. Amen. Nataka tutafautisha sana hapa. One of the ways we prove that we love God ni kufuata ratiba. Lakini katika ratiba, tuwe tuna upendo halisi wa Bwana. We love God genuinely. Tunampenda. Amen. John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave. That word verb give is practical lesson. The practical side of love. He gave. That verb akamtoa. Hilo neno linadhihirisha kwamba upendo una kumpenda mtu kuna kutenda mambo ya kudhihirisha unapenda mtu. Amen. Kwa mfano mtu ambaye ameolewa na 
na bwana yako kila mjioni akiingia anakuambia my wife i love you so much my only bean ni magedheri yote anatoa mingi lakini akiingia hajabeba unga hata kanyama hana hata haachi nini do you really think that man loves that woman no ampende wewe ni mtu wa sarakazi ya maneno eh, a word acrobat amen wala asifiwe lakini mwenye ambaye anampenda bibi yake unakuta matunda iko kwenye mkono huu nyama iko hapa pesa za kuacha asubuhi ziko hapa anaacha na anatoka hata hataki kuzungumza matendo yenyewe yanadhihirisha kwamba huyu bwana ananipenda wapendwa if there is no practical side to our christianity we are in deception kama tunadai tunampenda bwana na hatudhirishi kwa matendo tuko katika uongo na shetani huwa anapenda hayo hatishi na sisi kukuzanyika hapana wala kuzungumza maneno mengi ya kusema nampenda you know i love jesus loving god much as it can be emotional it is more practical than emotional you can be emotional about loving god but the practical side is the kingdom side ile kutoa na kufanya glory to god na kwa sababu alitupenda mtu akikupenda what do you do next mtu akikupenda utafanya nini ha eh? you love the person in return god loved us so he expect us to return the love alitupenda nasi tumpende pia amen bwana asifiwe na lazima huo unajipima je mimi niko na upendo kwa Mungu ama bado ama nilighairi nilibadilika amen the things you say in church the things you do in church the things you do in your businesses eh? amen if you love god you cannot help to fear his name lazima uwe na muokopa bwana ninampenda Mungu sitaki kumkosea kwa hivyo nina I'm, there must be that fear of god in your heart glory be to god so Mungu ana matarajio kutoka kwetu kama tunampenda kwamba nasi tumpende pia kama kanisa amen the biggest obstacle shida kubwa katika kumpenda bwana ni roho ya udini. Religion is the biggest enemy of loving God. Why? In religion, hypocrisy is accepted, unafiki umekubalika, uongo umekubalika, kujifanya kumekubalika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na tufunge kitabu cha injiri ya Yohana, mlango wa 14 na tuanzie mstari wa moja na kuendelea glory be to god haya ni maneno ya Yesu na ni muhimu sana whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me the one who loves me will be loved by my father i too will love and so my, myself to them 22 the judas not escariot said but lord Why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, "Anyone who loves me, anyone who loves me, we are guided by the word of God on how to love God. You don't love God the way you want." Kumpenda Mungu kuna jinsi inakubalika mbinguni. Kuna jinsi inakubalika katika ufalme. There is a kingdom way of loving God, and this is what Jesus is telling us here. Jesus replied anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. Amen. My father will love them and we I want you to notice that that pronoun we inaashiria kwamba God is expressing himself in trinity. But we will come to them and make our home with them. Glory to God. Number 24 Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teachings. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to my Father 
who sent me. Can we go together also to the book of the, the gospel of Matthew chapter 15 scriptures number 7 through to 9. You hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. That's very powerful. Amen. These people honor me with their lips. Katika dini, watu wanaweza tukambia na buwana asifuwe, amen, na mpenda yesu kwa, kwa kinywa. Unaweza kwa wanekana kana kwamba unampenda mungu. Amen. Na unaweza hata badisha sauti yako. You try to put on a righteous voice in court. Buwana asifuwe. So, munasikianga watu wa FM stations za dini. Mukukutana kwa sita honge yangi hivo. Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome to the program. Lakini mukutana. Welcome to the program. Hiyo uod ya udini na honge ya juu yake. Unajaribu kweka vitu zingine za kujifananisha kana kwamba unampenda mungu. You should be genuine in your faith. Be genuine in your faith. Don't put on additionals so that you appear righteous. Amen. So people can honor God with their lips but their hearts are far from God. So that implies in a mana kwamba kumpenda bwana ni katika moyo wako. Loving God starts with your heart. Then next is your lips. Not your lips first. Sio mudomo kwanza Moyo umpende mungu, kisha kinywa, kionge. Glory to God. Na hata kama unampenda buwana, na hauzungumi za mambo mengi, in heaven, you are known that you love God. Amen. Kwa hivyo, kuna randa za kiroho huwa zinaangalia, wala wanapenda mungu. Can we go to 2 Timothy chapter 2? And scriptures number 19. Go down with me. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth that are his. And let everyone whom nameth the name of, of, of Christ depart from iniquity. Mungu anajua walio wake. That is a very frightening statement. Kama mungu anajua walio wake, basi inamaana hawezi kujifanya unapenda mungu. In other words, hawezi kumcheshea mungu shere. You cannot play games with God. So if you are, if you want, kama umeamua kumpenda buwana, be genuine. Usiwele unapenda mungu, kesha unabadilika. Glory to God. Buwana asifiwe. Now you need to, as I'm teaching this, you need to face a very serious question. Do I really love God genuinely? Nampenda mungu kikamilifu? Ama huwa saingine challenges ikikuja, unarusha upendo kando? Wakati mambo ya komazuri, unaendea sasa kumpenda. Let me tell you, loving God should be unconditional. Amen. Whether there are challenges or not, you trust him with your life. Unamuaminia maisha yako. In Luke 23, line number 46, Jesus said, Unto your hands I commit my spirit. He loved his father so much, he trusted him with his own life. So to love God is to trust God totally. You can never claim to love God and you don't trust him with your life. Kumpenda buwana ni kumuaminia mungu maisha yako. Amen. Is there in Asema? Thou shall keep in perfect peace whose mind stays on thee. Now, kumpenda buwana ni kwamba mawazo yako yote Guvu zako zote ziko katika kumangalia mungu. Amen. That means, kama unampenda mungu, the biggest percentage of your time, muda mwingi katika maisha yako, unafikiria mambo ya mungu. Lakini ukujikuta, unakubuka mungu jioni, wakati wa uchirika, ukifika town, ata umukubuki, ata ukubuki kama unaweza kumukosea, uweze kujizuia. If you find yourself, kwamba unakuanga na gaps, za kusahau kama ume, ni kama umeoku, 
Unasahau kama umeokoka. Eh? Unajikuta hata umeshika makanga kara, hata amekongresha vibaya. Alafu unaangalia kama kuna mtu anakuwa unajua anakuwa matatu. 